I guess selfie stick, but it's a thing to hold your camera so I can just hold it, you know. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing these are Godo breeches. Well, actually, I should probably leave it like this. Oh my god, I'm not so bad at this. Godo breeches and I think they're the Alara. This is a tailored sportsman belt and I think this is a Noble Outfitters. I got toothpaste on my shirt. <laughs> um, and then I'm wearing Dreamers and Schemer socks. I am getting everything charged. I've got, these are extra batteries for the GoPro. Cause I'm going to try and get some GoPro videos today. And I'm currently making toast. And I've got my coffee in here. I guess I'm gonna do a little Barney vlog today. It's only 7.45. I gotta let my camera and stuff charge the Pixie one because I want to get some videos of me and Tintin jumping today. Theo is on stall rest. Oh my god, I love, I love this little thing. Theo is on stall rest today because he had his hocks injected. So he is on stall rest. Um, he is, I am going out and hand walking him though. Um, yesterday I gave them like a little grooming session. Um, I gave Theo a massage and did some body work stuff on him. Yeah, literally just putting butter on this bread like you would a corn on the cob because we don't couldn't find any actual like carton butter. <laughs> that is the what's the plan today? Let me pause. Well, I'm gonna help clean stalls. I'm gonna ride 10, hand walk Theo. I cleaned all of my tech yesterday. All my saddles, all of my bridles, all of my breastplates and standing martingales, nosebands, reins, every, everything leather that I have, I pretty much cleaned. That took a couple hours last night. Didn't you? Come on, you did such a sweet girl. You did such a sweet girl. No, you're not getting nothing. I don't know. What else could I do? I'm about it. So, mm. 10. I got so heavy yesterday on the reins, like, because he like, really likes to like pull me down, grab a hold of the bit, and get really heavy. It's like the weirdest thing. He can be so light and so amazing. But then other times he is just a freaking cinder block pulling me down and doing this. So I couldn't find my gloves yesterday, but we're gonna work on that today. I'm gonna put him back in the Waterford because that's less for him. He can't like grab a hold onto it. So I'm going to put him back in that today and give him a little flat work and we are going to do some jumping too, but give him some no nose. Because I really freaking hurt yesterday. My back is sore. Like my shoulder and this muscle right here is really sore from him pulling me down. I don't know when this video will probably go up tomorrow morning. So you can have coffee with me and breakfast. Mm -hmm. I am thinking about ordering some more Godo breeches because they've got these ones 
in black and gray on sale and these are literally my favorite breeches ever like i literally love them i think they're so flattering they're so cute and they fit so well and they're stretchy so i think they're normally 150 and they're on sale for 75. i'm just waiting for them to respond to me to let me know if those ones are the ones that are the new sizing or the old sizing because i'm a 28 in the old sizing and my friend ordered some recently and they actually emailed her and was like hey we're gonna send you the 30 instead because the sizing's different so if the sizing's different i need to get a 30. if it's not then the 28s i'm just waiting for them to respond before i place that order but they're seriously my favorite breaches ever 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 mm -hmm. <sighs> I am before I leave while well, my electronics are charging. I brought all of my bonnets and polar wraps and the rest of my saddle or yeah, the rest of my saddle pads home. So I gotta hang those up in the garage. So once I'm done doing this, then we'll go and do that. Sit. Sit. Take a bite. That's a good boy. Paisy, sit. You take a bite. No, you gotta take one bite. There you go. Take a bite. Take a bite. There you go. Zoe, dance, dance, dance. dance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come here. Come here. Sit. Good boy. Come here, pop. Good job. Give me just pop. These are my husband's shoes. Take a peek he's got. I can't even lie to me. Put a cover on. Because it's cold in the ground. Kitty, what are you doing? Kitty? This is my home office right now. I had too much stuff that didn't fit on my desk. Okay. As you can see, that is still there. My husband still has not moved it. He decided to order a rug off Amazon and put it over it and assume that was the fix, but it's not. Okay. To some, there were some people that commented in my last video not to put these there because of the window and then they'd get sun bleach so I need to put something over that window to cover it I just don't know what yet so we'll figure that out because there's not enough room on that side oh my god um, this is the current situation okay this is still all trash but we have to figure out what to do with So I like that better. So here, I'm going to do a full in-depth video, but I've got all of my PSF Sweden dressage pads, 
I only have six. And then I've got all of the um, Equestrian Stockholm dressage pads, all of my Lemieux, all of the PSO Sweden jump pads, all of the Equestrian Stockholm jump pads, and I have one of the back on track ones. And then I've got, so far, this is my collection of Lemieux jump pads. I am getting the Citrone, the Mint, the Tangerine, the Lime, um, and the Plum to add to this collection too. And I really wanna get the um, jump cut of the mulberry and the um, peacock uh, Loire. And then I've got some other like random little saddle pads that are downstairs that I need to hang up just like it's just a smart pack one so I've got some of those but this hopefully will look a little bit more full. I do want to get the corn blue, but it's hard to find. And I do, I want the blueberry in the new piece of Sweden in both. Although I do have a lot of blue, but I don't have that shade of blue. <laughs> I don't really like pink, to be honest. So I'm like almost 99% sure I'm going to sell this. Even though it's brand new. I don't know. I'm trying to think of, like, I don't have, that's the only, the sole pink pad I have. But I just don't really like pink. I don't have any pink shirts. What should I do? Should I sell it? Should I not sell it? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. Why I, honey is amazing all these coupon codes out for you. Come on, send me some money, send me some money. Save me some money. I love finding things super cheap. Oh, right. Well, the USCF, I do have a USCF number, so hold on, I gotta find that. It is basically freaking snowing. What the fuck? So ten this day was very anxious, and it's hard to kind of see it in the videos, but his heart was like pounding in between my calves. It was crazy. I've never seen him this like terrified. 
And he kept looking out the door like it was something outside, but there wasn't anything out there. But obviously, we can't see or hear or smell what they do, so um, there had to have been something. But this ride was a little bit all over the place, but he still did good. I've seen that camera so many times. So here he was obviously freaking out about the camera, which he has obviously seen many, many times, but when he's in one of these moves everything is just terrifying so basically i'm just trying to keep them moving forward i'm lifting my inside rein and very holding very tight with my inside leg to keep him from shying away from it and so what i'm it takes a little bit but what i keep doing is just basically trying to keep him pushing towards it and not allow him to stop and gawk or spook so and then once he kind of relaxes, then I relax and that's his reward. Oh, 
So going to the right here, he is really throwing out his rib cage and dropping his shoulder and just diving into the corner. So what I'm doing is I am lifting my inside rein and putting my right leg on to try and get him to move away from it, but also lift his back at the same time so that way he's using himself to balance because my back truthfully cannot handle all of the weight that he throws into it. So that's kind of how I have to adjust to... Um, teach him and show him that he needs to not lean into my leg like that. <laughs> so it kind of messy at first, but once he got the, the gist of what I was asking for, then um, he was good. But here, he keeps spooking at whatever's in the corner, so I stop him, back him up, walk him up to it, let him look at it, let him see everything, and uh, he's just still a little, a little petrified.
Also, sorry in advance, one of the beacons for this camera fell over, so I'm not really in the middle of the shot, <laughs> so I'm kind of the one on the right side in the back of the arena fell over, so that's why this is all like off, but you can still see a little bit. basically what I'm just doing here is just trying to get him to relax a little bit at the walk. He's very tense and very choppy as you can see. Um, I want to take him through this grid, so we're coming up to it and he's just kind of, his brain's all over the place, so um, going through that I accidentally caught him in the mouth. So we come back around, I'm just trying to gather him together and get him on his hind end and get his brain to slow down a little bit. And that one was not very good, but better than the last one. And then I come around again, and going to the right is, this is the side where he likes to throw in his um, rib cage. so I'm really just trying to focus around the turns on the inside bend, and he goes that really nicely. Um, and then we, I think we come around and do it. Nope, so we're going over this one, and he doesn't get the right lead after that, but that's okay. I asked for the change and he gave me the front but didn't get the back, which is kind of what he's been doing on this lead anyway. Um, so going through here, he's obviously on the wrong lead, so I asked him to come back down to the, the trot and he throws a little bit of a fit and then come up to that and he goes through that really nicely. And asked the change, didn't get it. His brain is just going a thousand miles a minute, so uh, I bring him back down to the walk ask him to back up and then go forward again just to get him on his hind end. Backing up really, really, really helps with getting horses off the forehand. So I do a lot of that with him. So now I'm just walking, um, trying to get a working walk, just keeping him, keeping him picked up. Um, also trying to keep him a little relaxed and I think I think that's it. I don't think I do anything else with him other than just trying to really get him to relax while we're walking. Yeah, so this was the end of the ride. I ended it on that jump because I felt like he jumped it pretty nice. Um, and honestly, the rest of this ride is basically us just walking. He didn't really calm down at all, <laughs> to be honest. He still was just very anxious, and it honestly, looking back at the videos, it doesn't look anywhere near what it felt like and what it seemed like. Um, he's a pretty avid bit chomper, but sometimes he'll kind of, I don't want to say, just kind of chomp it here and there, but here he was just like constantly, he could, he could not stop his mouth moving. He was just having all these anxious tendencies and... You can see here he's getting all crazy and every time he comes this way he's like looking at the door so i don't know what it was but um i did want to take it as an opportunity to go through and um try and get him to relax in a situation like this i was really proud of him for not bolting or bucking or doing anything like that um but i did cut this ride pretty short just because i didn't you know we went through it he was good so i just kind of wanted to try and end on a good note
And the sound you hear is the rain and the sleep <laughs> and the indoor.